Two men have been rescued from the Torres Strait after surviving 25 days lost at sea. They were spotted floating in an esky off Queensland by a border security patrol. The pair told rescuers their boat sank two days before Christmas. In the middle of the Torres Strait, eagle eyes spotted the esky. Inside, a pair of Burmese fishermen, dehydrated, exhausted and excited to see rescuers. The customs plane found them on Saturday during a routine patrol. An emergency management Queensland helicopter was sent from Horn Island to pick them up. When we went down the, uh, the, the uh, rescue crewman into the water, the guy in the uh, esky leapt out. He was like desperately keen to get on and, and pulled him in, down into the water. So uh, he was pretty, pretty keen to get away from, from the ocean. Once on board, they wanted one thing. When they got up, they sculled two litres of water each within seconds. Aged in their 20s, the men are being treated at Thursday Island Hospital. They told authorities 18 other people were thrown into the ocean when their small wooden vessel sank, but they had nothing to cling to. Given that they've been in the water for 25 days, our Rescue Coordination Centre Australia has made an assessment that they would not be able to have survived for that period of time without any form of flotation device. Immigration officials are now on Thursday Island to determine if the boat was fishing, or part of a people smuggling operation. Either way, these are lucky men. It's a bloody big ocean to be drifting around and 